this is analysis lecture eight. It's lecture eight? Yes, yeah, lecture eight. Now there wasn't that much actually there's basically nothing done in this lecture. Again, not a lot a lot is happening in these lectures. It's just it, do, it does a hell of a lot of proofs and not really much application. So this is the algebra of limits, and there's only one slide. Right. He told us this in the, these two inequalities, uh, the modulus of x plus y is less than or equal to the modulus of x plus the modulus of y, and this is known as the triangle inequality. And he also gave this this one, which is the modulus of the modulus of x minus the modulus of y is less than or equal to the modulus of x minus y, and this is the reverse triangle inequality. And he went on to prove that this is true, but I just like taking his word for it. <laughs> uh, another one. If you remember from before when we did uh, convergence, uh, to add a sequence it goes to a value as n goes to infinity. Uh, here we, we go on top of that a bit more. So uh, now up here I have to say x and y are both rational numbers. Right, so a n plus b n, where a n and b n are both sequences, uh, go towards a plus b as n goes to infinity. So if we have uh, a n go into a limit of a and b n go into a limit of b, then a n plus b n goes to towards a plus b. But I think that's quite obvious, really, if you think about it. Uh, same here and same here. Uh, an times bn goes towards ab, and an divided by bn goes towards a over b. Now he proved these using the triangle inequality, but I think they're basically basic common sense. So that's all there was.